it had almost sounded like the deal had been done. You would have been there when Theo went to the World Cup at that young tender age and we one of these sort of great hopes. You've played with him for your country, you've watched him for years. How do you feel about where things have ended up for Theo at the moment and how important a move is for him now? Um, he burst onto the scene and everyone was talking about the potential he had and yet rightly so. But um, for me, I don't think he's fulfilled that potential. He should have been going into this Arsenal team and being a mainstay and taking over the mantle as the go-to guy with the, the ability, the pace, the power, um, how direct he was. And I just think as a player, I don't think he evolved uh, as, as well as maybe his potential su suggested. And there was always that muted, I want to be a centre forward rather than a winger. And that never materialised. And it, you can only look at yourself in them situations. I think this is a perfect opportunity for him now to come out of the shadows at Arsenal and go into a team like Everton and try and take that mentor as a, and the responsibility of being a main star player in a team because he promised that so often for, for Arsenal and never really delivered that on a consistent basis. He believed in him. I think he had belief in him, but I, and he had belief for him to fulfil the potential. But I, I just don't think he ever did that. And uh, he scored goals. He scored some important goals here and there. But when you're looking to become a top top level player, you, consistency is so key in, in 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 becoming that. And I think that the players in your team then rely on you to and look to you for situ in certain situations to to win big games and 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 defining moments in periods for, for, for teams and uh, he never really done that and I think for the likes of Sanchez and Ozil to come in and take over their mantles as well I think personally as a player you'd take that as a hit on your pride. Rio seems to very much be laying this at Theo Walcott's door nobody else's. I, I, I feel for him because I think he was I've said it before many times about Theo he was fast tracked too quickly and as a youngster, you need to be coached. You need to, because you're in the first team, yeah. they leave you alone. He wasn't taken back and given the extra little bit of how to make movement, where to be, where the ball's here. It, it was faster at 16, I think. It's not only ever a good thing that he got the chance to experience a World Cup. He was in the first team. He was yeah. made to feel like he was a superstar. Yeah, but you've got, How's you've that got bad? Learn, you're learning, he's learning on the job. Where you've got to learn yeah. as a youngster, you've got to go in there and you've got to take every game. There's things that you're going to make mistakes on, even positional things. For me, he's, he's got pace to burn, but he never really knew if he was a striker or a wide. But he must know by now, Glenn. He's in his late twenties now. I, I agree with yeah. you. He's, 20, he's, he's in his actual peak. He hasn't even hit his peak yet. At 27 to 32, he could hit his peak. He really can because the game should be. He should understand the game by then, and I don't think he's ever really been taught the game. He doesn't really understand the game. He's still actually like a 22-year-old. Mm. I'd like to and ask him, for... Glenn. I'd like to ask him. Do you feel you've been let down mm. by coaches? Do you think you've been neglected in that area? Do you think scoring the hat trick for England against Croatia away yeah. in Croatia? went against him because people start automatically think you're almost a finished article. He doesn't have to work on him because of the, what he's showing us um, in certain games. And I think that's what I'd like to know. And I think he's been quite, he's been admirably quite a quiet guy. You haven't heard too much about Theo in terms of speaking out and, and whatnot. But in terms of football, I'd love to know from him, does he feel that he could have had more from coaches around him? I think he's about maybe four years too late in terms of moving as well. For the last four years, he's not been uh, a starting 11 player. For, for Arsenal Football Club. He's been in and out, off the bench, starting in uh, European fixtures this season. Um, they haven't kind of turned to Theo really at any stage over the last few years and gone, you are one of our main players, you're one of our senior players and we're going to start you every single week. That for me would have been alarm bells and I think he should have probably looked at that point then and gone, mm. I need to kick on and go and make myself the player that I believe I can be somewhere else because this isn't the place for that. He may get the opportunity to if do any that. Any player now. gets treated like that, you're never going to get your true potential. Right. You're yeah. never going to feel like we said about Son earlier. He's, he's gone on leaps and bounds. He mm. feels a part of that mm. first eleven now, that spine of the team. And I think Theo's never had that cushion. He's never had that. Well, if I have a couple of poor games, I still know I'm going to be. The, the, the management are behind me, I'm learning, I've got people that's taking me away, analysing my game, improving my game. He, and, has he been you know, mismanaged? Is that what you're saying? Slightly, yeah. yeah. I think it, a lot of it's got to come down to him as well. You know, I don't know whether he is somebody that seeks knowledge and, and wants to, the, to be thirsty and, and to improve and improve and go out there and spend hour on a... I don't know if he's that type of player, but um, uh, the manager or a coach or somewhere along the line. I felt sorry for him because at 15 he was in Southampton reserves, 16 he was in the first team. England took him away far too early. You know, he got the move to Arsenal before he was ready to go to Arsenal. And I think he needed to be coached. He needed some help there. And if you haven't got the right 
experienced players that are going to put their arm around him or the coaches there, it's going to take him a hell of a long time to learn what he needs to do. I just, I've just watched him over the, the period of time not go where he could have done because he's got the talent. That's and it the frustrates sad thing. you, I think, because yeah. he's got all the tools yes. to go on and be a, t a, a game changer at the top level because of the pace he possesses, can t he can take any defender out of the game. But it's them same mistakes in terms of identifying the right time to make runs, the timing, then decision making once you get in. and. That's, a, that's a, a winger's bread and butter. I know a lot of players watch this show. If he's watching this now, what would you want him to do if he gets the move to Everton? What, what do you want to see in his game that you've not been seeing at Arsenal? Definitely decision-making. Um, be more decisive in that area, but also just the, 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 the runs and being direct. And There are times in, he, in his Arsenal career where you think the penny's dropped, he's on it. And then all of a sudden, he's out of the team again through performance or whatnot or whatever Arsene Wenger de deemed for him to come out of the team and I think uh, the level of consistency yeah. to go into a team yeah. and really push on and show people this is why I went on the plane early to a World Cup this is why I was in the England squad so early this is why I was in the team yeah, I've watched him. I still 16. would love to just see him be brilliant because you, you saw this great kid you know it's promises so much oh, absolutely consistency is key yeah. simple as that and he will achieve that if he gets to play week in week out okay interesting chat thanks guys early